Chris had been thinking about that sermon that I preached called The Seed is on Schedule. When it rains, everybody who has something in the ground reaches up to receive. And he went home after I preached that and was trying to get something about rain. He wanted something to cooperate with that word. He had, we uh, heaven send your rain. I think that's the line he had, heaven send your rain or something like that. And I bet it took us four hours to come to we receive your rain because it started as we can feel, it went to we can feel the rain and then we can feel the rain, fear is washed away. It got real complicated. And then at one point I was like, I think it's we receive your rain over and over. So the verse, I wanted to get an idea that the rain meant something when it came, because I felt like if, if the verse didn't create a longing for rain, then the chorus wouldn't feel refreshing, because yeah. rain is annoying if you don't need it. <laughs> so it, it put it in my mind like that it needed to set up the idea of dry, parched ground. It needed to create that context. I think it all came pretty fast, but it was like this idea of all of the images grouping the thunder of being the word, and the dry season is over. It's a journey. A sermon is a journey, a song is a journey. It's all got an art to it. And I think the difference between like sermons that really connect with people, songs that really connect with people, in my experience, is do you take them all the way somewhere, or is it four things slapped together wow. that, that kind of fit? And the most powerful ones stay around one thing. Come like a